President Joe Biden has a very different schedule compared to us, given that he doesn't really do as much before 10 a.m. or even after 4 p.m., and that is according to White House staffers. And now, more updates are coming out saying that they basically leave him alone when it's the weekend, as they're trying not to work him too hard due to his age. Let me ask you guys, how long do you expect the President of the United States to work within a week? Now, you guys are free to comment whatever number of hours you think that the President should be working every single week in the comment section down below. Now, most U.S. adults are now saying no to the C-19 boosters and the CDC is warning that health risks are going to follow. Are you still willing to get jabbed or is the pandemic over for you? Now, China has admitted that a war with the United States will be an unbearable disaster for the world, end quote. Now, this comes after one of their warships sailed across the path of one of our American destroyers in the Taiwan Strait. Do you guys feel the tensions are boiling over for both of our countries? Twitter's co-founder Jack Dorsey endorses a candidate for the presidential race in 2024. And even with his social platform showing bias during his time there, he's picked someone other than the president to lead the country. Any guesses as to who it is? So here's a clue. He says he's highly confident that he'll win this nomination for his party. An explosion was heard in the Washington DC Metroplex area as a couple of F-16 fighter jets tried to catch up to a Cessna aircraft whose pilot was reported to be unresponsive after multiple attempts to contact. More on that later. And the FBI has finally confirmed what House Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer has said all along. The file that alleged that then Vice President Joe Biden was involved in a bribery scheme it actually exists so what do you guys think is going to happen next let's not waste any more time let's get right down to the facts also if you own a home make sure that home is protected get your free home warranty quote guys it's free get your free home warranty quote link in the description down below this video now we all have a different opinion when it comes to the c19 vaccines and i believe that we are entitled to that we have a right to say what we want and what we do not want with our body be it if we want to get jabbed or not a new study though shows that most adults in the country are now declining the new boosters with only about 20 a little over 20 percent or about one in five getting jabbed as of early may of this year now the cdc or the centers of disease control and prevention is now warning that adults who aren't on their current doses now have little remaining protection against the virus dr mark siegel professor of medicine at nyu langone medical center he says that the virus is still with us and even gave the outbreak in china as an example so what do you guys think of this? Do you think that we're still in a pandemic? Now, speaking of China, their defense minister, General Liu Shangfu, has surprisingly said that the United States and China have to improve relations as they are now at a record low. He also adds, quote, History has proven time and time again that both China and the United States will benefit from cooperation and lose from confrontation. China seeks to develop a new type of major country relationship with the United States. As for the U.S. side, it needs to act with sincerity, match its words with deeds, and take concrete actions together with China to stabilize the relations and prevent further deterioration. End quote. Now, his comments come after one of their warships sailed right across the path of one of our destroyers and a Canadian frigate trans transiting the Taiwan Strait. Now, Lee says that they don't have any problems with innocent passage, although he adds that they want to prevent any attempts to try to use those freedoms of navigation patrols, that innocent passage to exercise hegemony of navigation, end quote. The U.S., though, through Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, has said that Washington would not flinch in the face of bullying or coercion. It's getting tougher and tougher to understand where we're really at with China. And it's kind of like their words and actions, they don't really say the exact same things. Much like what Washington Washington does, but that's something that we've known of for a long time now. Any thoughts, guys? Now, let's go ahead and head on back over to Washington, D.C., where President Biden and officials are saying that they're trying to address his schedule so as not to overload this older president. Now, the term used by officials were that they wanted to leave him alone as often as they can on the weekends and are now scheduling all public appearances between noon and 4 p.m. Given by these numbers, the president would at least be working 20 hours a week. Some of Biden's aides are also reported to be limiting access to the president as they're now worried that he might make a huge blunder. However, and like we've seen with an interview that he did with 60 Minutes, President Biden has just told the public to watch him do his job, something that critics say is going to be difficult if he hardly ever works a full day in a week. So what are your thoughts on this? Do you think that the president should be working more hours or is this a case of quality over quantity? 
meaning that he can get more things done in a shorter period of time. I'm gonna let you guys decide on that. Now, since we're already in Washington, did anyone in the Metroplex area hear that loud noise that sounded like an explosion recently? Now, for anyone who might not be aware, that was the sound of a sonic boom from two F-16 fighter jets that were given the go signal to fly at supersonic speeds in hopes of catching up to a civilian plane that was unresponsive to multiple contact attempts. Now, sadly, the Cessna plane crashed near the George Washington National Forest in Virginia with no survivors being reported. The Washington, D.C. Metro metropolitan area was rocked by a loud noise, a sonic boom from D.C. Air National Guard fighter jets. That boom could be heard and felt across the region and was captured on this doorbell camera. Those F-16s were scrambled to investigate an aircraft that was not responding as it flew over the D.C. area. The Air National Guard planes took off from Joint Base Andrews in Maryland. Around the same time, a small civilian jet aircraft crashed in the mountainous region of southwest Virginia. One official tells ABC News they now know the pilot of that plane had passed out. A really tragic end for the story and our prayers are with everyone who was left behind by the passengers of that plane. The FBI has finally confirmed what many critics of the Biden administration have been saying for some time now. One of those critics is House Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer and according to him, quote, the FBI Director Ray confirmed the existence of the FD-1023 from alleging then Vice President Biden engaged in a criminal bribery scheme with a foreign national. While Director Ray has offered to allow us to see the documents in person at FBI headquarters, we have been clear that anything short of producing these documents to the House Oversight Committee is not in compliance with the subpoena, end quote. So here's the $5 million question here. Will we, the people, actually see this file being made public? Do you think that you and I deserve to see it? Or is this something that is reserved mainly for our lawmakers? How will this reflect on the president's run in 2024? And on that note, you guys remember Jack Dorsey, right? Co-founder of the social platform Twitter that many journalists have found to be heavily biased towards one party with the Twitter files? Well, Dorsey, who has around 6.5 million followers on Twitter, he says that he's endorsing a Democrat for president. Only thing is that it's Robert F. Kennedy Jr. instead of President Biden. And as far as I know, RFK hasn't commented on this, but he did have comments when asked whether he would support the president if he received a Democratic nomination. Now, according to him, quote, I expect to be nominated and I don't have a plan B, end quote. Well, there you go, folks. Any thoughts on that one or any thoughts on any of the updates that we covered for that matter in today's video? Make sure to hit me up in the comment section down below. Now, when it comes to a plan B, how many of us have one when it comes to buying our groceries? Do you just have an alternative product to buy or do you just switch between Walmart, Target, or maybe even Costco? Now, households all over the country, they're trying to find different ways to stretch their dollars. But what if we had more dollars? What if our cash flow wasn't as limited as it is now? Now, feel free to hit me up in the comment section down below if you guys want to discuss further. If you want to learn about generating multiple streams of income, we can talk about side hustles, home-based business ideas, small business ideas as well. We can also discuss wise investments. Maybe it's in gold, investments in silver, investments in real estate, maybe even investing in the stock market. But the first step has to come for you guys. Change doesn't happen overnight, but it definitely can happen. Now, right now, you guys should see two videos right here and right here. Go ahead and click on those videos right now and check those out. Now, before I go, guys, please don't forget to drop a huge like for the video and share this video with everyone you know. Subscribe to the channel for your daily dose of the truth. Appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. Appreciate all the love and support. I'm going to catch you guys on the next one.